Gold prices have backed down here after hitting a 12-month high. We have December gold last trading here around 1351. Joining us now is Todd Baba Horowitz of BabaTrading.com. Welcome back, Baba. Daniela, it's always great to be out with you, especially on a Friday. Yes, and lead us into the weekend here. Tell us what's going on on the gold front here. Uh, we have lost some steam. Well, I, I think it made sense we lost some steam. I mean, we're targeting 1377 here first. And, you know, I, we're going to get there. And I think you, you're going to see some selling come in. I, I think there's a lot of confusion between what the ECB did yesterday and Mario Draghi and what's going on in the overall markets. But look, we've had a heck of a run here and we're going to probably go back and I think test 1340 before pushing through. And I think we're going to push through 1377 when we get there. I know you mentioned 1377 as being a key a level for you here. Uh, that would be a three year high if we managed to hit that, right? Right. It, what it does is it takes out a year and a half high, but then there's nothing behind that anywhere close. So it, it, may, it puts us at three year highs once we get through there. Do you think that the cryptocurrencies, Bubba, are stealing gold thunder here? Is that part of the problem why gold can't rally higher? I think that's a, a big part of the problem. I, I think, you know, in my eyes, gold is always a currency play, not a safe haven play. And now that you've got these other currencies that are actually starting to take some real traction here, I think they're taking part of the buyers away from gold and putting them in, into the cryptocurrencies. Now, I think what's going to happen, though, is a lot of people who are using those are selling them and converting them back into gold and silver. So I think the, the rally will be more delayed. You know, it took a while for this rally to get going, even though the dollar was much weaker. So I think it'll come back to gold and we'll push it higher. But the initial move is we're seeing a lot more play in these cryptocurrencies. I just had an expert on who compared Bitcoin to a pet rock, saying it's useless. Well, it, it's useless, except if you'd have bought $10,000 worth of it seven years ago, it's worth $380 million in cash. So if that's useless, you know, a lot of places are taking Bitcoin, especially outside of the country. You know, one of the problems with gold and some of the third world nations, you can't necessarily get it out of the country, whereas Bitcoin, you can do it with a, a quick transaction. So, again, I think that the cryptocurrencies are a real player. I think they're going to be do real stuff here. But at the end of the day, it will come back to owning those hard assets of gold and silver as well. Todd Baba Horowitz, thank you so much for your thoughts this Friday. Thanks, Danielle. Have a great weekend. Go ahead. We'll see you next week. And thanks for watching this edition of Kickles Gold Report. We'll be back next week.